What up, fam? We out here for a morning walk and talk. I just want to show y'all this moon real quick. Half crescent in the sky. Boy, that look cold. Check it out. Half crescent in the sky. My last walk and talk, it was like this clanking sound that was happening all throughout the video. That's called the I Book didn't of know Wisdom because it was like my first time walking and talking with this camera. So it's um, it's these things on the side of the camera and it's supposed to connect to a strap to where you can hold it around your neck. And it was just loose that whole time. So it was just, but I, went a very ghetto route because I didn't know how to stop it. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's tape. All right, y'all, I just, I just had to get on campus real quick because them cars is being very loud. All the extra sound effects in the background was really just irritating me. And I know as a watcher, it was irritating to y'all too. So I'm going to try and do my best to limit all that in this video. Um, We're about to talk about these magical herbs I got. I got some magical herbs that's supposed to do some magical things. Dang. This squirrel just let me super close to him. Check him out. All right. Of course, man, every time I try to catch something cool on the camera, man, it just don't work out. I literally just watched uh, Divine Harmony yesterday. She uh, was super close on a hawk. A hawk flew next to her on a tree and she caught it on her, or she tried to catch it on her camera. And as soon as she thought she was done pressing the, uh, done recording the video, she pressed she thought she pressed play and the whole time she was just starting the video so she didn't catch none of that hawk action on film and she said man some things are only meant for you to see but i believe that because i had so much trouble trying to catch things for everyone to see i'm trying to take pictures of everything it's like man it's like i said in that last video man an owl literally greets me every time I walk through these woods okay I'm not lying to you every time it's be right up in the tree Woo! I'm like oh shoot what's up man <laughs> hopefully I see him today I know I said that last time but let's actually have some luck God, like, can we talk about, like, the political and economic state of the world right now? Mm. Ah -ha. Rule number one. Oh, Solo keeps a gun. Rule number two. Boy, don't forget rule number one. <laughs> oh, boss. Yeah, we back. Uh, so I started acupuncture um, in ancient Chinese practice, the uh, healing process where they take all those skinny needles and they uh, poke them in you. The lady I went to, shout out to Susan. She's an acupuncturist here in Carbondale, and it's so crazy how I found her because, you know, this thing just dropped on my spirit. And I was just look oh. I was just looking around for any local acupuncturist. I found Susan. I called her. She didn't pick up. A few moments later, uh, 
a number called me back and I, I realized it was her number because it had like a triple five at the end. And if you're into numerology, I am heavy. Those uh, triple numbers, man, they hold a very significant meaning because something that is definite in this universe is numbers. And it's a very spiritual essence behind numbers. And they have all vibrate at different frequencies. So whenever you have numbers showing up like that, pay attention. If you grow within yourself, you love yourself, like at such an extreme level, every other area in your life is going to come as it should. And it's beautiful to watch everything manifest because you're doing your personal work and you're doing your inner work. Like, it's really a path that you have to take alone. I'm not gonna lie to you. No pun intended. It's a path you have to take alone. Uh, but when you get spiritually discerned, you realize you're not really alone. It looks like you are, but man, the angels are surrounding you every day but yeah man i just got on my soapbox a little bit the lady called me back she told me uh what she does and how long she been doing it and i don't know i just felt very led to this person in particular and then the cool thing about it she was literally right down the street from where i live already so i could literally walk to her if i wanted to but um yeah, fast forward, fast forward. I get four treatments done in acupuncture. And it's now time for the next level, she said. She said that the next step after this is I can do a full uh, report di diagnostic on you. Um, because I came there with spiritual problems, not physical problems, okay? So... You know, I'm young and healthy. This squirrel is really orange and big and beautiful. Oh man. I could never catch him. Stop chewing so wow, bro. Leave that little guy alone. What the f is you gonna do if I don't? <laughs> Dang y'all. That that ADHD, something. It'd be hard to stay on top of it. But, uh, they ain't looking at them clouds. All right, y'all, let me stop playing. I think that's where I left off. Uh, she said it is now time for the next step. So she ran a full diagnostic report on me to kind of condense the whole report into like a one word sentence. I have a chi deficiency and what chi is is life force and life force is the thing that drives you every day that motivates you to do it's basically your spiritual power your your life <sighs> that breath of life so i had a chi deficiency and um i felt that you know what i mean that's why i knew i had to do something to get back on track which, you know, my angels, they lead me to where I need to go. And for some reason, they put it on my spirit that I need to get acupuncture. Because I would have never known that I actually had a chi deficiency if I didn't go to this lady. It felt like it, but I couldn't put a thumb on it. You got all these symptoms you're dealing with, right? Because I came in there telling her things that I wanted to work on personally in my life. And it's certain herbs that cure those things. And, um, you know, she made a formula for me. Got all these dry herbs together in this bag. And I kid you not, it looked like a zip. And I felt like a little laughter in my spirit. Because like two, three, four years ago, I would have been uh, buying actual zips zips of weed like i'm talking them big bags of marijuana i will spend hundreds of dollars trying to get them big bags of marijuana 
and it wasn't doing nothing for me. So fast forward, fast forward uh, in my life, I do some maturing. I'm still buying a big bag of herbs, but now these are the healing herbs. So yeah, that's just a quick testimony of how far I came. Um, spending my money on the right things. You got to go that extra mile. Like this is medicine, okay? Herbs is the natural medicine that God put on this earth for you. So whenever you go to a doctor and they prescribe you medicine, whenever they prescribe you pills like that, uh, you're not going to get healed. You're just healing the symptoms. You're just shutting them, sh them symptoms up. But the problem, uh, what you got is never going to be cured. And it really sucks because you got these people on these medicines for a lifelong time thinking that it's helping and it's really just slowly killing you. I'm going to make an analogy. You got a burglar that steals from your house every day. All right. You know what time he comes in and every day. He comes in at night. What the hell you doing in my house? Eating a big ass sandwich and shit. Nigga, I'm Santa Claus. What the fuck the milk and cookies? Santa Claus. So what did you do to make things a little better so he don't steal everything in your crib? You decide to get security. Cigarette light and some cock keys. Uh -huh. Put it right there, you crack baby. Yeah, let's get his ass, Greg. Get go. He notices the security put up in your house and he uh he's like dang I can't visit like how I used to. Um but he still comes maybe like once a week. Okay, let's say you get some weapons. Now you got a gun. And you say, beware, I got a big shoddy in a in a uh, house. So you come in, you gonna die. So, you know, now he's even more hesitant to come in. Maybe like once a once a month. But guess what? He's still gonna find a way in your house and take your Okay. That's 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 what you do with your body. You be taking these medicines. You're not fixing the problem. You're just slowing it down. Look at these clouds. They want people to keep on taking these pills. Instead of promoting a healthy diet. And the diet they tell you ain't even healthy. Like, for real, for real, you're not supposed to be eating everything. Like, come on now. Read the nutrition facts on the back of whatever you eat. The the labels you find on the bottom of that cereal box, you can't go out in nature and find it. I'm like, yeah, like, what if you go out <laughs> and really see that, like, on the ground somewhere? It, should, it wouldn't look right. It wouldn't look right. And wouldn't no animal go up and eat that either. Maybe animal ain't got no sense, but they ain't gonna gravitate to that. They gonna realize real quick, oh, I ain't supposed to be eating that, that's gonna kill me. But humans, we don't even figure that out. Alright y'all, hey, the decoction is made, and I did not expect it to be this dark, this is blacker than me, that's what you call herb juice right there, I did not expect it to be this dark, 
That's how you know it's packed with flavor. And when I say flavor, I don't mean good flavor. They said it's gonna taste, they said it's gonna taste bitter and sour. So basically, I just brought the uh, herb thing up to seven cups. And um, I'm gonna be taking one cup daily. So in a week, I should be done, right? But I'm not taking one full cup and one full sitting. I'm going to be splitting it. I'm going to take half a cup in the morning and half a cup at night. Half a cup is pretty big, man. That's a pretty big gulp. I think that's more than a shot, if I'm being honest. Let's see. So the half cup is right here. Okay. We got the shot. <laughs> Boy, that ain't even close. Oh my god. I'm going to struggle keeping that down. <laughs> I would like to give a quick shout out to my friend Maddie LaBerge for giving me this strainer. I know that was very random, but it just popped in my head. I didn't have no way to strain the herbs from the water got lucky and hit her up and she had exactly what I needed so thank you very much if you're watching this shout out to you let's let's see what this tastes about man I'm scared I just had to change angles because this is more um clear and more light better lighting so yeah let's get into it I ain't gonna waste too much time hey now look I'm gonna drink it from out of a cup I can't do that. Damn, dude, that's a lot. All right, all right, hold on. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I got water on standby. that aftertaste it had to get up in here so it come out hey not 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 nearly as bad as what I was expecting um, hey for this to be medicine is some good medicine no cap um, I'm going to be continuing this series um, I'm gonna just let this be the introduction to the herbs and hopefully I inspire someone to start their herb journey because this is, this got a whole bunch of health benefits, okay? And I'm gonna be hitting y'all up in the future, showing y'all or telling y'all how I feel and how it's made me feel. And yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, harmony, as always. See you in the next one.